Okay, so um, uh, a spiritual student was asking a spiritual teacher, and the teacher was responding about, uh, I think, the you know, the, uh, th thoughtlessness or experiencing thoughtlessness and uh, disappearing, as I understand it, the thinker, rather, the, um, is the important thing. I mean, I think I get the gist of what he's talking about. Basically, when uh, if you if one is the witnesser of thoughts, the observer of thoughts, um, often it's like uh, and as 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 the questioner said, you know, Saint Francis said, "What you're looking for is where you're looking from." So if you are uh, if you're in your identified sense of self, i.e., if you are identified as a separate thinker and body, and there, then the thoughts become personal. They're my thoughts. You know, you have location. You're like locked in a body. You're locked in your thought, your head thinking. And these are your thoughts happening from your ego, my ego. Uh, there's an ownership of the, this fictitious thing is actually me. I'm a real thing. My, th my thinking thoughts in this body is a real thing. And my experience of time and location is a real thing. So, and there is a lot of heavy interest and identification with the thoughts. So they really are loud and uh, seem to be like uh, almost like hypnosis, like a like a horror movie or or a nice movie, whatever it is that they wants to think about on the day. So to dissolve the thinker or that which is likes to identify with thoughts, uh, and to get to the thoughtless now, uh, it's actually not that difficult if you're uh, uh, if you practice the observer that um, uh, as you go inwards to the witnesser of consciousness, the witnesser of experience, shall we say, um, the witnesser, th there is a witnesser that, that seems to be, ident wants to identify with things. And there's a witnesser that has no interest in thoughts. It's like it, it doesn't even want to register a thought. It doesn't even want to re register phenomena. It, it, so there's nothing, there's nothing. And as you get into this inner, uh, pure witnessing, uh, it's like everything that had the tinge of being connected to you or yours starts to disappear and, and uh, eventually does disappear. It's like, uh, it seems like without ox the oxygen of something wanting to identify with thoughts, they start to dissolve. First, it becomes like the thoughts become nicer because you're going deeper within. It's almost like the ego is going, well, I'll give you nice thoughts if you're going to try and do that to disappear me. Uh, but then as you go deeper inwards and forget even listen, uh, hooking into the nice thoughts, then um, they start to get very subtle and they, they happen less often. So you have huge gaps of just presence uh, with the odd occasional thought flitting through. And then if you keep going in and focusing on the witnesser, you can get experiences of just thoughtlessness. It's, it's actually sublime. It's, uh, I think... Um, Yes, the Course called it the Hush of Heaven, something like the Hush of Heaven. There's like a, uh, um, a, a sacred silence and a heavenly bliss, which is so powerful that I was, uh, you know, there was walking down Oxford Street, which is a very main road in London, and there was just absolute silence and, and beautiful bliss. It's like no sound can intrude on it. No thought is there. It's like uh, God's presence. So, yes. So... Um, I personally don't put any value on thoughts, um, and uh, if I never thought again, it would be it'd be great to just be in that heavenly um, presence forevermore without those uh, things identified. But you know, that's the the addiction to 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 the thought. So the thinker, of course, uh, the thinker means that there's a personal self. Um, now, as you get to deeper layers of the witnesser, there can be what's called witnessing of thoughts, but they're not your thoughts. So it's like, oh, um, a rabbit, uh, it was, it's witnessed that a rabbit just ran across the room. It's not your rabbit, it's got nothing to do with me. Oh, suddenly there's a thought that's witnessed, but it's not my thought, I'm not here. So it's sort of um, watched as if impersonally, as if it's not got nothing to do with what one is. Uh, so uh, that's when the personal thinker dissolves. Um, so, but there is a state for me, which is thoughtless, where even, which is a, you could say the levels of the observer. 
and there's levels beyond even this world where there is no observer and observed, which, uh, you know, duality students will say, well, if you're talking about the observer, then there must be an observed, and that's a duality, which is true, which is true. Okay, I'll, I'll stop.